Welcome to the Garage Woodworks Video Podcast. Okay, for the joinery for the bookcase, I'm going with loose tenon joinery. And uh, to make the end grain mortises and all the rails, I'm going to use my horizontal mortiser. And if you'd like to find out more information about my horizontal mortiser, you can find that at this link here. Look at that, nice clean mortises every time. Not too shabby. Okay, at this point I have all my engram mortises cut out, but there are two more mortises I need to make. And that's on the back top and bottom rails where the center uh, vertical panel divider meets. So I have these mortises already uh, marked out and I'll go ahead and cut those out now. Okay, now it's time to make the mortises and the posts, but before I do that, I need to make my layout marks. Now, before I make my layout marks, I like to gang all my posts together, and I like to clamp them together snugly. That way, as I'm making my marks down the post, uh, none, of the, none of them will move out of alignment. Okay, now it's time to ride out the mortises and the posts. And this part of the process always makes me a little nervous. But if you laid out your mortises in the right place, nothing should, uh, nothing should go wrong. Okay, because I'm using a loose tenon joinery, I need to make my own tenon stock. And to do that, I'm using some scrap cherry that I've already milled to width and thickness. And all I need to do now is round over the corners with an eighth inch radius round over bit and cut them to length. fine-tuning the fit of my tenon stock. Let's say you do that with an integral tenon. Okay, so this is the dry fit of the back section of the bookcase, and what I need to do next is to make a groove all the way around the inside of each section here to receive the panels. 